Yo, Mitchie. What? Got something for you, buddy. What is that? It's oh. a GTR wheel. I guess I can tell it's a wheel. Oh. What are we doing with it? Wrap it. Please. Wrap it? Yes. <laughs> I guess this looks a little set up now because I have material on my hands. What's up guys? <laughs> Welcome to another segment of Can We Wrap It? You guys have put in a lot of requests for different things. One of them that we've been seeing is can you wrap a wheel? So thanks to our friends over at Varstone, we have one of these wheels here to wrap. Let's get into it. Things that we're going to need is the material itself. Got the blader. Got the squeegee. Got the heater. All right, let's do it. All right, so first thing that we're going to be doing is we have the rim off of the tire, which is probably gonna be the case if you're running a crazy stretch or something like that. You can probably wrap it with the tire still on, but we the luxury of having the tire already off, so that's a good start. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean it. So it doesn't need too much cleaning, so we're just gonna give it a quick alcohol wipe and stuff like that. Now we're getting the material cut for the wheel. Uh, this is a 19 inch wheel, so we're gonna need at least a 19 by 19 square. Give yourself a little bit of extra, so probably 24 by 24 is gonna be a size that will be good for this. We are using 3M Lost Lip Deep Space. It's a cool color shift color, but we will keep on after we do this and uh, put it back on a splash shop. the material it's good to have a second set of hands just so you can basically glass the panel over the entire thing especially when you're working with a circle so what you want to start with is find the outside perimeter of the wheel and you're gonna make that first and basically we're gonna have to work all of the material in so we work this outside just so we don't have any wrinkles in the edges that are gonna be kind of difficult to work out so now that we have that all laid we're gonna start just basically heating and working everything down uh, this wheel is a little bit intricate by, with all the steps and stuff it has, so we're going to do our best and let's see if we can do it. So we have the face of the wheel wrapped. Uh, like I said, it's pretty much all you can do with this one because of all the crazy steps in it. So we're going to trim it out. Uh, maybe if I'm bored later, I'll try to do the whole thing and go a little deeper. But for now, this is what we got. The only thing I will say as a disclaimer, if you're going to be wrapping a wheel, talk to your tire shop that you're going to be using because I, I'm not a tire shop and I don't know where I should trim. I'm going to be trimming flush on the edge because I don't want to go too deep and have it affect the beat of the tire or anything like that. So. Talk to your tire shop before you do it. Make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to be using this for road use. Uh, if not, which is an art piece, do whatever you want. So let's start trimming. Everything's wrapped up and trimmed, so last thing, we're just gonna do a quick post heat. Like I said, this is not gonna stay on the wheel very long, and this is one of our display wheels. All right, so that is the end of the segment. We decided, yes, you can wrap it. Definitely gonna depend on the wheel. There are definitely gonna be wheels out there that can't be wrapped, and there are gonna be wheels that are gonna be a lot easier to be wrapped. Say rule of thumb, I would stick to wrapping the face of the wheel instead of wrapping the entire thing, and also be careful with the outer edge where your tire is gonna go. At the end of the day, yes, we can wrap it. Again, comment below what you want us to try to wrap next, and we'll see you next Saturday for another segment of Can We Wrap It?